Hello, my outdoor freedompreneurs. Welcome today. This is Kathy from KathyFraser.com, and we are here to talk today about an app for the national parks. A couple weeks ago, I did a, a blog post on the national parks, but this time I've got a really cool app to show you guys. You know, there's some really neat features that I've listed below, but one of the things I like is you can track. You can actually track, and it's this is your virtual passport book, if you will, of all the parks that you visit. So as you can see here, beautiful icons that you can decide whether you want to go to a monument, a historical park, a preserve, a seashore, scenic trails, whatever. So whatever type of park you want to go to, let's say we want to go to things that have the, the nature preserves. Wow, look at all these. We've got Denali, the Great Sand Dunes, the uh, all these beautiful parks that you can go to and these are the ones that have the preserves so pretty cool huh so back that's just an example I want to go into this a little bit deeper so say these are the parks that you're looking for they're all alphabetical order and say you want to go to beautiful Bryce Canyon where it says install detail guide you want to click on that and download another app that gives you the details and I'm going to show you what that looks like. I don't want to do it here because it takes a minute. I've already got one installed. But, you know, they give you some details here about the park. You've got your badge. That's where you can do, you know, actually that's your virtual passport and I'm going to show you a real cool thing there. Then of course some related areas. There's Zion, Canyonlands and the arches are all in this same area. You can also go to the website. But the install guide. Well, first, let me show you this. Check this out. You can click on here and update all the years you visited. I am so thrilled because I was just thinking, boy, I wish I had this years ago so that I can mark the years and track when I've been there. But you can go back and do that, which I thought was pretty cool. So let's back up again. I've got one, the detailed guide downloaded for the Arches Park. So as you can see again, some great information, the badges and the related point of interest, but look where it says here, open detailed guide. So we're going to open that and it's going to give us some very specific information. Oh, this is really cool. This viewport, you can take a picture of where you're at in the park. Obviously, you're going to have a map, the arches map. So this is the actual park map that you would get when you go into the park, you know, that you can get your printed one. But here is the virtual one. So that's kind of cool. Photo gallery, which would give you just pictures of the park. If there's ranger events going on, so check that out. November 11th, there's a free day uh, for Veterans Day. Awesome. And then information, auto touring. I'm going to go to the hiking trails. You know me in points of interest. And I'll show you how this really looks. So all sorts of information. And check this out. All the different hiking trails within the park. <laughs> I was a little bit disappointed because that's what I was looking for was something that had, they might not have got up, have all these uploaded yet. Oh, no, it's just taking a minute. Just taking a minute to upload. When I first started looking at the app, I'm like, oh, bummer, it doesn't have the hiking trails. Then I realized you have to download that um, detailed one. So, say we want to go to Balance Rock, and it's going to give you all the information about that trail. So, you know, how long it should take. Uh, nine miles from the visitor center, blah, blah, blah. So, pretty cool. So that's the inside of the detailed guide of the Arches National Park. I really, really like that. Let me back up again. So I'm going to back up to all topics again. So there's the all topics, but you can also go up to the left here. And here you can, you know, go through photo galleries, the parks, monuments, or pick the types of parks you want to see right from here. So pretty cool app. I, I was thrilled about that addition that I didn't realize. So if you go back to the parks, 
like Black Canyon. I love Black Canyon, but there is not a detailed uh, guide for that one yet. Let's see if there's something. How about Canyonland? See if there's one. Yep. So you can install the detailed guide there and get more information about the trails and all those other details that were included in that app for the arches. The detailed guide. So you get the viewpoints, the ranger events, etc, etc. So, another cool app to help you get outdoors and enjoy the beauty. So, all I can say, get outdoors, get to a park, and I'll see you outside. Have a great day. This is Kathy with the Outdoor Freedom Freedompreneurs at KathyFraser.com.